Hi guys, we've been doing a lot of stuff about space recently and I wanted to show you some of these because I think these images are absolutely amazing. These are pictures that have been taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. So if you want to look it up online and look up images, Hubble Space Telescope, you're going to find amazing things like this. Let me show you some more. So what I'm really showing you is we sometimes think of space just being black. Well, it isn't. It's got these amazing colours in it. I think the first one was probably the best one, wasn't it? But look at that. And all sorts of swirls and colours and, of course, lots of tiny little, little planets and, and stars in it. So I thought, let's do our own. Hubble Space Telescope Galaxy Picture. Right, here goes. I have got a bit of kitchen sponge and some water. Now, I'm not going to keep do, putting, putting it in water, but I'm just going to make sure that it's nice and damp to start off with. So I'm going to have a damp kitchen sponge. Now, I've put some different paints onto a plate. As you can see, my blue is really runny. Don't know why that is, but not, not to worry. I'm going to sponge paint my background. So here goes. I'm going to start off with something quite dark and I'm just going to splat it. Oops, splat everything. I would recommend you put something down on the table first. So you're not doing this all over your best table because you might not be very popular if you did that. And you'll see as I keep going, put the orange in there, it all merges together because what we don't want is we don't want to see big lump, big squares of colour. I want it to be all merged together. But you can be quite rough about this. Let's see oh, what colour haven't I used. I haven't used any of that yet. Let's have a bit of that in there. And you can see quite quickly I'm getting a very interesting background. It doesn't take very long. I don't want you to worry too much about this because it's all about getting some colour in there. Because like I showed you on the Hubble Space Telescope, it's a lot of a lot of colour that you don't really expect to see. Oh, I like that that colour. Okay, well that is going to be my background. I think it looks nice and colourful, quite bright. Let's put some more dark bits in over there. That looks a bit 
bit too light. But don't be scared about it being a little bit blotchy. It'll look good, I promise you. Right, the next stage is we're going to add our stars. And for this, you're going to want an old toothbrush. Do not use the one you're using at the moment. It won't taste very nice afterwards. So I've got some white paint and an old toothbrush. Right, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to flick it and I'm going to pull my finger across like that. And now I'm going to show you. Can you see my, my stars are beginning to form now? I don't mind if you get some big blobs. Because we can always turn, turn those into other planets. There's a big one. Well, what I can do with that big one, I'm just going to turn that into its own little galaxy. Like. There we go. That is now a spiral galaxy. Now I need to wash my fingers. <laughs> so I'm going to pause you for a moment. Okay, clean fingers. <laughs> right, I'm going to add some planets now. Now, you could choose. You could actually make planets that look like our own solar system. That would be amazing. But if you don't fancy doing that, any old planet will do. So I've got a few here. Look, this one. It's just cut out of an old magazine, actually. So I'm going to pop that one in there. Might have to wait for it to dry properly before I can stick everything down. Same bit of magazine. I've made a little moon for it. Yeah. So this one, bit of paper, and I've painted it. And I've made craters on it by using a straw, which I've dipped in some white paint and blobbed. To make little crater shapes. Where's that one going to go? Maybe over there. This one I did with marker pens. I just want to show you different ways of doing things. Where's that one going to go? About there maybe. I don't want to overdo it but that's beginning to look quite fun isn't it? That definitely looks like a space. Right, what have I got? Just because I happen to have this, I'm going to show you what it looks like all neat and tidy. So I'm going to put a frame on it. There we go. What do you think? Is that an amazing space painting? Well, I think you too can do amazing space paintings. So give it a go. Um, send me some photos. I'm going to put up some photos of some of the ones I took of that the guys did in class. Um, but give it a go if you can, because it's a bit of fun. And I will speak to you soon.